Hey guys, I'm back for another video. It's that time. Alright, got something new in the mail and you're going to see it for the first time as well as I. I uh, got it today. Today is the 18th of February 2017, which nobody cares. So, let's get to it. So the first things first, this is going to come from a, a company called uh, Your Little CNC Shop. And if you guys have these RSs, you're probably familiar with some of their products. Um, I do have their, their transmission uh, shifter bushings in the car and for, for the money and what they are and they screw together. And yeah, it's, those things are great. Um, a plus. So, alright, so. A little sticker. Well, I'll just put it up here somewhere. Everything else. All right, don't need that. Oh, this is cool. So, check this out. This is a pedal spacer. Um, I have one in the car that's about an inch and a half thick or so, which makes the, uh, I'll show you in a minute, but the, the, the uh, accelerator pedal, even with the brake and everything. And it works well, does its job. Uh, this was actually a little cheaper. Uh, the other one's plastic, who cares, it work, they work, for, you know, all the same. But the issue with the one that I have is, and I'll, I'll, I'll pull it out and we'll compare it, but the issue that I have is uh, when you're on the brake, the accelerator is higher and you can't get to the accelerator uh, without lifting your, your foot off of the brake. Um, so it's, it's, I think it's a little too aggressive. This is significantly smaller, but it should just give a little bit more uh, of an aid. An aid, um, and then you know, so we'll install it and we'll see. But I'll tell you, phew, this thing is this thing is really nice quality. Um, you know, it's got your nice RS engraved right here, which you're not going to see in the car, but that's really cool that it comes with this. Um, the machine work, just you know. Upon looking at it for the first time, is awesome. All the edges are nice and round. Uh, there's nothing sharp. Um, yeah, this looks really good. So it's a little bitty close up. And again, this is coming from yourlittlecncshop.com. So I'd encourage uh, you guys to go check them out if you have an RS and take a look at some of their products. It's pretty cool. So I, from from what I think, I believe that they are a, a smaller uh, organization, you know, that that is growing. I could be completely wrong, but they only have a few products. Um, so that that's just, you know, upon my that's that's the extent of my knowledge right there. Um, I haven't talked to the guy one on one, but I can tell you that the stuff that they do produce is top quality, and it's very good for the money. So. I'm going to pull the other one out of the car and then we're going to do a side by side comparison. So you guys will get to see and this will aid in if you know if you're if you're on the fence about what to buy, maybe this will help you out. So just stick with me and then we're going to get through this. All right, I'm just holding the camera now. So what I'm going to do before we tackle this thing is I'm going to shine a flashlight down there and uh, you guys can see what we're working with and I'm just going to kind of go through it because it is a very tight area and uh, yeah just join me so I'm going to get down here and you can see that I've still got the plastic on my accelerator pedal 
and I've got 1600 miles in the car. So maybe it'd be a good time to take that off. But you can see where my light is shining. There is the other spacer. It is, uh, it's black in color and it's pretty thick, but you can see the pedal alignment and how this looks. And it's going to be tough to do, but yeah, so there, you know, the accelerator pedal is, with this setup, is, uh, it's slightly forward of the brake. So the other one's going to be, it's going to, it's going to sit, you know, further in. There's no doubt about that, but um, the the thing is, when you push this, when you push the brake, hang on a second. Let me pause this and we'll come back. I gotta fix the light. Okay, all right, we're back. Maybe this will help out. So there's not a lot of light. Let's see if I can do the best I can. So when you push, and my little battery's dying. That's great. So when you push this down. It's it's a lot further in than the gas pedal, so you have to. It's kind of awkward to lift your foot off of this and then rotate down. You know, for any heel to toe shifting or anything like that. Um, so we're going to try to solve that today with this new piece, and then I'm going to pull this guy out. And there's really two bolts, and I believe that they are 10 millimeter, and you'll just need a regular basic hand tool, socket, and uh, you know, and then an extension. Um, and it, it's pretty it's pretty simple so we're gonna go ahead and pull it out and do a little tabletop side by side and then continue on all right guys so this is out and I'm gonna show you what all this looks like so we got our pedal here now when you take it out it's just got a little plug and then you'll unplug it it's just like any other and it's held in place by you know two places uh, these are just normal screws and uh, so there's the old one, okay, compared to the new one. There's a dramatic, dramatic uh, difference in thickness. So that's kind of scaring me a little bit right now, um, now that I've got it out. You know, this is like barely anything, but this is really freaking thick. But we're going we're gonna to put it through its paces, and we're going to test it out and then you guys can pick whatever you like best and hopefully this video will help you out but I'll be the, uh, the little guinea pig so both are, are top quality this is basically a uh, spacer out of an ST and I cannot remember the company that makes this but it's just like any other one that's about an inch and a half thick so let me see if I actually have a tape measure somewhere uh, probably in the house I do, but yeah, it's supposed to be an inch and a half thick. Um, anyway, so on the back of the pedal, it would pretty much look like this, or it's going to look like this. So we're going to give it a shot, and then I'm going to peel all this crap off. Anyway, yeah, I'll get all this this mess off finally. This has been on the car forever. I think there's a lot of shit, quite a few people that have left this stuff on. Just I don't know, whatever. Oh, so now it's it's silver instead of blue. Pretty cool. So set so this aside. Your basic tools that you're going to use for this is a 10 millimeter, a small little um, extension, and then your ratchet. That's it. It's uh, it's about a five minute job. It's really really straightforward and simple. So now we're going to jump back into the car and put this guy in and put it all back together. All right. So now what we're going to do, and hopefully the camera will pick all this up with the limited light. Um, this is going to sit just like this, right there. And our pedal assembly is going to go right over top of it. Uh, like so. And then we have our screws. Let's see if we get one on there. Okay. And then just work in reverse. Let's see if I can get this 
loosen a little bit tight. Get the top on. It's not a whole lot of room. We're just gonna tighten it all down. Now you don't need to over torque these things. It's just a little bitty nut on, on this. this little screw on this little bolt so uh, just tight enough to where it's not going to come off and move around and it's secure and then to finish it all up you have your plug and you plug it back in on the top and that's it so our finished product get some light looks like this now you can tell the accelerator is definitely more sunk in there compared to the other pedals but let's see if this works okay so when you push in the brake it's just about even to where the other pedal was even with the brake at rest and not being pushed uh, if you push it it's about the same you know on level with each other so this should be uh, interesting to drive with it should be better so uh, we're gonna give it a shot and uh, this is just the install it's a rainy day so I'm not gonna take this thing out not today but uh, I'll do a follow-up on what I actually think of this and then I'll release that in a couple of days and then uh, you know we'll we'll see but right now upon first impressions this looks like it's gonna work so it looks pretty cool anyway so I encourage you guys to stay tuned and uh, follow along for the uh, further update thanks for tuning in stay with me all right so a little PS here um, as mentioned earlier with the transmission little bushings now obviously I, the new ones are in a the car they work great but this is what came out of the car you know, I, I pulled them out of the car pretty early, so they're not really damaged or anything like that. But essentially, there's this little rubber bushing, and it's very soft. So, um, and, it, and it hugs this, this other piece of this bushing. But once it's on there, there is still give. I don't know if you can see all this, this mess. So the other ones were solid. It was like just two of these, these silver pieces and it screwed together and it was just one solid bushing. Uh, and it does make a little bit of a difference. So you can check out yourlittlecncshop.com and, uh, and you can pick these up as well. You know, there's other companies that make the same exact thing, but I'm going to I'm gonna swing the ball in, in, in the favor of, of these guys here because I think that... Uh, for the money, because they're a little bit cheaper, it's a bushing. It's a, it's a, it's a solid bushing. Is not a whole lot to it. Um, I, I do like the fact that you know they they twisted together, they screwed onto each other, and it became one solid piece. Uh, they weren't you know anyway. So a plus, and I look forward to more products that these guys are going to releasing soon. So um, I think it's it's an excellent quality. But until next time, stay tuned.